It was a beautiful morning, and so we took the dinghy to the beach to pick some oysters and clams and exercise the dogs. While we were there, this whale came between us and our boat and caught the anchor road in his mouth. Tanner! Tanner, lucky! Lucky, lucky, lucky! Oh, he got her anchor. Connor and I jumped in the dinghy to race towards the boat to deal with the whale. We were hoping he would have worked his way free or we would have had to get on the bow and cut the rope. Oh my. Connor ran the video camera while I drove the dinghy. He's The closer we got, the more aggressive the whale started to get. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. What do we do? Cut it? Unfortunately, when I jumped on the boat, Connor had to take over the dinghy and therefore had to shut the video camera off. Meanwhile, I'm on the boat, I grabbed my butcher knife and started to head towards the bow where I was hoping to cut the whale free. Of course, I'm very concerned about the whale jumping up and down and hurting himself or landing on me or worse yet, Connor. And just then... He jit broke the rope from the whale. Val and the dogs were still on the beach, so Connor went in the dinghy to go get them and came back with this bit of whale skin that was floating around in the bay. The blog and the video both went viral, and people from all over the world started to call to ask if they could air my story that they had read on the blog. Norway, Sweden, Canada, Yahoo, ESPN, even ABC News wanted to air the story. As far as I could tell from the websites that I viewed, there was well over a million hits. Fortunately, we were only about a day away from home, so we headed back, re-rigged the anchor, and ended up in Dolphin Cove.